Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I got three things I want to talk to you about. Originally, it was just going to be two things. Two things that are important, one thing that is not so important. <clears throat> I told you all I did a, a consult, uh, did a consult with someone and gave them the instructions. We had our pre-consult conversation, which lasted almost an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, where the person explained to me everything and I told them exactly what they should have done and told them what their mistakes were at the very beginning. Then it was time to have the consult, the email, the seven day period, you know, the set up the time. I told him the times that I'd be available. And he decided to communicate with me what a time other than the time that I told him I'd be available. See, he wanted to do, don't know why, because his telephone numbers are on the West Coast. And yet he put Eastern time, told him specifically. Everybody knows, even in the email, it says Pacific Standard Time only when you schedule times with me. I do not do any other time zones. You do Pacific Standard Time only. He knew that. I expressed it to him in words. He tries to schedule because he wants to test me. And he's been trying to test me. He's been trying to prove that he doesn't have to do what I say do. He can create his own rules. So we have our consult. He starts off saying all kind of stuff, wants to talk about everything else. He can't have a conversation with him because he challenges every word, challenges every statement. So gave him this 15 minutes. He took less than 15 minutes. Hey, my turn now. When I'm speaking, be quiet the whole time. Shut up while I'm talking. I am going to do some explaining. He later told me, if I, if you, I know how to do a Google search. No, you don't know how to do this type of Google searching. Because it will take you all week to look up the stuff I'm showing you. I'm only showing you on Google so that you can go get the information that I already know. I'm letting you know that everything I talk about, you can find it online. Not that you're going to go out there and find it on your own because you don't know enough about law to find the stuff that I'm pointing out to you. If you did... So he had a couple of situations. He had one where there was property involved. He had one where there was property involved. And he had another where property was involved. Three different situations involving three different types of property. And I was trying to explain to him the policies and procedure. Well, you later wrote me and told me, I already know all of that. Oh, really? Well, if you knew everything, then why did you tell me you didn't? Why did you tell me that you hadn't done this, that you didn't do this, and I'm telling you this is what you need to do, and I'm showing you the rules where it says you have to do this, and you are asking me what do you do next, and I'm showing you what the policy said you are supposed to do next. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of person that He's going to get himself in a lot of trouble. And I see it coming. And I can see that eventually he's going to piss some judge off and he's going to end up in jail. Just for pissing off the judge. Then he's going to do something stupid and they're going to make it a longer and longer time. He's already called me in just a short time, four times. Not even ten minutes, four times. Because... I have to be at his beck and call. He has called me over 25 times in the last week. I've asked him not to. He didn't listen. So I'm going to have to get a restraining order against the individual. I've asked him to stop. Apparently he wants to continue. All right. That's the first thing I wanted to talk about. I've been working on the Save Our Home program, the student loan program. And I've been doing those documents, waking up, <clears throat> excuse me, I woke up at 6 o'clock and went to sleep yesterday at 5, no, it was about 7 o'clock yesterday. I started to go to sleep at 5 o'clock, 4.30, I was already in bed because I had a massive headache and was, <clears throat> excuse me, and was tired. Sorry, that situation with that individual thinking that it's okay to do that. As a Jehovah's Witness, I'm told to let certain things go. And he has no idea how much he's pissing me off. 
And so now he's lost every... I was probably going to give him a call tomorrow. But now he's pissed me off. He gets nothing else from me. I didn't gave him more than what I was supposed to. I've had enough. And that's what happens when you communicate with YouTube people. That's right. I said YouTube people. They're an amazing group. Am I putting him in? No, he's not one of my people. See, my people don't act like that. My people have never act like that. All of those people who want to be my people, they end up acting like that. I've had two people act just like him. He and another guy. Just because I give you my phone number for a consult, and I'm not changing my phone number for nothing, but just because I give you my phone number for a consult, <laughs> you think that you're going to abuse that? You must be out of your mind. We'll saw. I digress, ladies and gentlemen. Working on these student loans programs, we finally got that finished, got it out to everybody. I promise you it was more stressful than anything else because student loans are the hardest to go after. Student loans are not, well, why did you charge so less the least amount that you, because... This is not about money. We're not trying to get over on people. Look, ladies and gentlemen, the people with student loans are the ones who are really hurting because the reason why the student loan isn't paid off because they don't have the money to pay it off. So why would we overcharge them? Why would we overburden them? That's what the government is doing. I want to show you guys something and then we'll talk about the student loan thing. And then we got to talk about the tax credits. Now you want to stay around for the tax credits. You're going to learn something. Now, Richard Dimplefield is saying, you know, I thought you were going to punch me out. Why would he say that to a person of color? Now, most people who are not a person of color wouldn't realize how racist of a comment that is. No, no, no. I want you to hear it because now I did. I had never seen this before until today. Okay. Now look, the first thing Richard does. See, Richard is laid back. So let, 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 let's, let's do it from the beginning. And we're going to do it without the vocals. Okay, let's go back to the beginning because maybe y'all didn't see it. Okay, he comes out, he shakes hands. Aw. Uh, no, you know what? I, 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 now watch this. Sir, one more time. Now, most of y'all didn't get it. Richard Dimplesville sings his number one hit was If It Ain't One Thing, It's Another. So that's what he's doing. But if you notice, he's got his hand around Dick Clark, and Dick Clark doesn't want his hand around him. Okay, you see, he that's why he's pulling away. That's why there's so much distance between the two. Sorry, I've only seen this for the first time today, and these you are the little what, things I that I've noticed. I, I, listen to what you say. I see the ladies' reaction. You, you, you are a very unusual, a very unusual combination, combination of guy. Of guy. Uh, uh, what are you really? What are you really? Are you, are you, are you, are you, Doesn't it sound like he was asking him if he was gay? What are you really? He talked about the women and all the women coming and seeing him. And then, but notice what he's going to do now. Notice the question. I may just be I may just be I know better. I wouldn't, better. I wouldn't say that. I believe I'm a realist. I believe I'm a realist. Yeah. Yeah. And, I tell, and I tell the truth. And the truth hurts. And the guilt hurts. The guilt hurts. The guilt so hurts. There's so controversy. There's controversy. Yeah, you, are, yeah, you are. I love that. I tell the truth. The truth hurts the guilty. And there's controversy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I couldn't get this video done. I was going to do If It Ain't One Thing, It's Another. And I would not heard this song that he's about to do. I'm not going to play this song. But when I heard the beginning, it was apropos. Did you say apropos? What the, does apropos means? That doesn't sound like an English word. Apropos. What the? That, that, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Templesfield, and what I'm going to do is I need to talk to you guys about something. You guys got a moment? This is Mr. Cooper. Hey! Hey, Mr. Cooper! How you doing? Yeah, you in mother... Um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cooper received a letter. Now, I want you guys to see this. They received a letter on the 8th. They responded on the 9th. Shame on Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper immediately followed the protocols of our document. They said, hey, we need more time. 
say we we want to take up to December 21st instead of your extra 10 days. No, you got the initial 10 days and now you ask for more time, you only get 10 more days. That's why it says it won't be extended, mother. Okay, so thank you for accepting the offer. You guys didn't see they accepted the offer? We received your correspondence on November 8, 2022 regarding the above reference loan. We thank you for bringing this to our attention and we take all matters seriously are in a process of reviewing your concerns. A response will be provided. Now they just obligated them to responding. That's one of the conditions of the agreement. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. By the way, they received it on the 8th. They have 20 calendar days to respond. So they have until Tuesday. See, 20 days from that date, which is the 24 hours. 24 hour days is 24 hours. It's 20, uh, 20 calendar days, 20 calendar days from the date of receipt. So it will be the 29th, which is Tuesday. Ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to see is AMCF Realty Foundation, AMCF Realty Foundation, a private trust organization. Ladies and gentlemen, it was very difficult getting a real estate company but we achieved that to handle mortgages. This has been a plan for quite some time. I want all of you to understand, we received your communication. This is what they're saying. They received ours. This is exactly how it's supposed to go. This, they didn't receive nothing from us. We didn't send them anything. Ladies and gentlemen, this was sent by one of our clients because they're required to send the letter out the first set of letters why because when these idiots violate the attorney client privilege by sending letters afterwards to our clients after they get that cease and desist and only communicate through this then we sue them we and our client for breaching the attorney client relationship look don't have time to play i ain't got time to play now, we have a rule, no bulk mail, no parcels, because you know how they like to send a whole ton of paperwork? Well, I want y'all to take a look. This is the total communication from Mr. Cooper. This is the total thing. There wasn't anything else attached to it. This was all, okay, one page. So, AMCF, we have some other information from Mr. Cooper, but we have to wait. We have to wait because they asked for the extension. After the 20th day, that's when we let them know what they need to know. And that's when we start hammering them and hitting them in the head. Got to close all this. Y'all ain't supposed to be seeing these things. That's all that work I've been doing. Lord has mercy, has that been a lot of work? Okay, now that's the first thing we wanted to talk about. This should take less than four minutes to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, many of you, many, many, many of you are aware of the tax credits you received from an organization and those tax credits were transferable credits. However, what many of you are not understanding, not our job to tell you, but we're gonna bring that to your attention, is that the credits were from deductions. It was from debts. So their expenses or net operating losses, they are not gains. So the young lady who got her debt discharged, all of that stuff she owed and got a refund, it's because her guy wrote it off as an expense, as a business expense. Why? Why did he write it off as a business expense? So that she wouldn't get hit with the capital gains. But this is me letting you know that wasn't your rudimentary run-of-the-mill tax agent because after I thought about it I'm like you know what that was all right he did it the right way at first we were thinking he didn't do it the right way because they didn't put all their deductions down but ladies and gentlemen he did it exactly the right way it is a loss you don't write it as a gain so they're not credits in the normal sense they're carry forward as I showed you with that case that we talked about yesterday, let's see if we can pull that case up. Be one second, gotta go all the way over here. 
ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're not going to go past 16 minutes. So as soon as this pulls up, go here. Go here to this website. It's the Journal of Accountancy.com. Okay, and then this, it says, issue forward slash 2017 forward slash November NOV forward slash business hyphen debt, or excuse me, business hyphen bad hyphen debt hyphen deduction dot HTML. Go to the website. Read this case. See what the court said about transferring credits and deductions. You see, net operating losses carried back. This is what this guy did, the exact same thing, but what a whole lot more monies okay go read the case go pull the case ladies and gentlemen you can pull the case and if you pull the case you can see how the taxes were done I'm not telling you to do your taxes this way I'm telling you this is your proof that it is done every single day the court also held the debt became worthless in 2008 not when he filed the bankruptcy in 2009 as argued by the IRS the debt becomes worthless when you document its worthlessness because only you get to choose the worthlessness of the debt. You know, I might go and read this case myself and listen to what was actually said because this is just some journal talking about the case and I don't see the parties. Where's the case number? Yeah, see, it's not giving me the case number, but I can find it. All right, no, don't send it to me. Don't email it to me. Or any, don't do that, people. I'm, I, there's too much going on, and I'm trying to keep everything together. All right, so thank all of you for your time, but your taxes, the credits that were received by people, you document them as expenses. You document them as net operating losses. That is one way, not the only way. That is one way. Hey, look at there. That is one way, not the only way okay documented as losses and when you do that ladies and gentlemen you should be okay for now but you're gonna have to understand the process so you got research and homework you need to do I gotta go ladies and gentlemen it's dark getting dark the dogs haven't eaten and I'm tired so y'all take care if it ain't one thing whoo wee it's another